Okay, Mike Masato back with you here on the road, CEO of Staff Driven Dental, the Dental Road Warrior. Episode nine, I uh, got my uh, Starbucks with me today and with my writing on it right there, but it's kind of inspired this episode. So uh, let me go over why I uh, chose this topic today. Um, what do you think the odds are of getting your coffee the way you want it in a Starbucks, if you're a Starbucks drinker out there, if something wasn't written on the cup, they just called your order out verbally uh, to uh, the barista and uh, hopefully they would get it right. I would say it's about a 50-50 proposition at best. There's a reason for that. So uh, let me give you my insights on uh, something you should do and implement in your practice right away. It's an operational rule of thumb, uh, operational rule of management that you should institute right away. It goes like this. If it's not written, it's not so. Let me give it to you one more time. If it's not written, it's not so. All right, so if you don't write things down, you can't expect people to get it right. All right, how often does this happen that, uh, Doc, how many times a day do you say something to your staff and then uh, to tell them to do something and off the top of your head or in, in the course of a day or in the heat of the moment uh, when you have an idea or something and you verbally tell them something and then you come back later and find out you're disappointed because it wasn't duplicated exactly the way you wanted to and it didn't happen. Okay, the only way you're gonna get communication you know, duplicated exactly in, in these circumstances is to have it written down. So if you have an idea or something you want to change, something you want to do or something you want to have happen uh, in, in the practice, you can't have it be just something verbally you say off the top of your head and make and, ha and expect that your staff is going to get it right and it's going to happen and go, the way, go down the way you want to. You know, same thing goes when speaking with patients. You know, it's, it's incredible. How often do you have this phenomenon? You're talking to a patient in the back, whether you're a hygienist or whether you're a dentist, you tell them something and they walk 15 feet to the front desk and it's something completely different. Yeah, you tell the patient, you know, come back. I want to see you. In, I want to see you in uh, six months. All right. Patient walks to the front. They go to the front desk and say, Yeah, the doctor says, uh, you know, I can give you a call. You know, or whatever. That's what happens. It, it, it disappears. You know, what? Why? It's like that old game telephone. Remember, you started on one side of the room with the statement, and by the time you went around the horn to everybody in the room, it was something completely altered and different. Because people do funny things with communication. The, the chance of it getting altered and uh, not having to be what you want okay, are a lot higher when it's not written down. Which is why we talked about, uh, I think one episode ago, a couple episodes ago, about having signed treatment plans. If you have a signed treatment plan, you know, they can't argue with on paper if they signed off on that thing. It's in writing, you know? They can, they can basically, you know, you say talk to the face because, you know, the, <laughs> uh, talk to the paper because the face ain't listening uh, if that comes up later. All right, so when you have things in writing, less of a chance that people, you know, uh, same thing with policies. You know, all policies in your office, operational policy, staff staff policy, and patient policy, especially, should be in writing for them to sign off on. They get a copy, all right? But when you have it in writing, you know, you can't argue with it, you know? And those signs on your wall, yeah, they're in writing too, but they don't count. That's not an agreement with a patient. But if you put it in writing with a patient, it goes a long way, all right? So if you want your staff to basically succeed on your behalf, have them have written systems, have them have written policies, to go by and train on those and less likelihood of being disappointed when things don't um, go the way you want it to go because the communication got altered, not duplicated, and that becomes an issue. But look, the purpose of communication is to be understood, all right? And writing things down uh, is basically a, a good way to get there. Uh, having a written agenda for everything you do, whether it's a staff meeting, whether it's a, um, a morning huddle, all right? This is for you office managers. If you're getting your staffs frustrating you, and you're not getting where you want to get, getting things done the way you want to. Uh, action plans. You know, one of the things I stress in my program is having what's called an implementation action plan. That means we teach a lot of stuff, uh, and if we verbally taught everything, uh, the chance of it, you know, going back to the office and, and it happening the way we want it to go, go would be very low if we didn't have an implementation action plan with, like, you know, writing down what the action is, by when you want it done, who's it assigned to, in writing manage from the action plan, right? Uh, it's like, you know, the, the phenomena, we've all been to seminars before. You go to these management seminars or training seminars, and the problem with these seminars, it's all great information, but how much of it are you really gonna retain, you know, up in your head and memorize and get it down exactly the way you want it to get? You know, you take notes. You write things down for a reason, right? Uh, same thing with what I'm teaching here now. You know, you can listen to this, it all sounds real great, uh, but again, how much are you really gonna retain and be able to institute in your practice? So you want to operate on a day-to-day -day basis, 
you know, limit, you know, obviously there has to be verbal communication, but if it's, a, if it's a policy, if it's a system you want implemented, if it's a change of procedure, all right, if it's a treatment plan that has to do with money, uh, any interactions with patients that are important that you went over, all right, when you write up their, when you write up their, their, their treatment that they're going to do, the, the, you know, routing slips, see all these little written communications uh, go a long way to make sure that the office runs smoothly, things happen the way you want them to happen, and the job occurs. So everybody, uh, your, your expectations are, are met and everybody's happy. You know, if it's all verbal communication all day long, you know, you, your, your chances of having uh, upsets and breakdowns and miscommunication it, it are very high, all right? So again, operating policy, if it's not written, it's not so. Right? And if someone comes to you with verbal communication, that's what you should say. Sounds like a great idea. Love that idea. Love what you have to say about that. Write it down and bring it to me. You know, manager, same thing. You know, it's a great, great doc. Doctor comes to you with a great idea. Wants to change something. Wants to implement something. Doc, great idea. Let's let me write that down for me. You know, we'll work on that. All right. Goes on your action plan. You work from a written action plan with deadlines. All right. So writing things down, uh, you know, uh, is, is is critical. When you have that, things go a lot better in the practice. Okay, little words of wisdom today. It's not written, it's not so. Just keep let that be your mantra over and over in your head, right? Whether again, patients, staff, right? whatever aspect of practice you want things to happen in, that's the way you get things happening by writing things down, and uh, you'll you'll be happy and you'll get your goals achieved and expectations met. All right, all right. This is the Dental Road Warrior. Mike Masato signing off from episode nine, episode ten to follow. In about a week or so, hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this episode or any of the episodes of Dental Road Warrior, uh, please share them. You know, put them on your thread, put them out there in social media. It goes a long way to help uh, helping and letting other people, helping me spread the word, having this go a little viral out there for me. All right, thanks a lot.